before we watch this video, just a quick warning. This is one of the less glamorous sides of owning a Doberman, and one of the things you will probably have to do if you have the dog. Uh, if you don't want to see one of the grosser things that ends up to pet ownership, don't watch this video. Just, just watch one of my other ones. So, it would be easy to pretend on YouTube that owning a Doberman Pinscher is all fun, and games, and rainbows and roses. But it's not, is it, buddy? Sometimes it's a lot of work. Sometimes it's a little gross. <laughs> because you have to be responsible with your pet. Uh, you have to pick up his droppings when you're in a public place. You have to do some things like that. And sometimes this happens. Every now and then, he eats a little something he shouldn't eat, and he ends up with a problem that has to be taken care of in a gross way. Got it. Oh, God. Now, this happened because of the paper towel, and paper towels he finds to be delicious. <laughs> We wipe our hands on them. When you eat napkins, paper towels, and things like that, so they have the scent of your favorite food and his favorite food all over them. So you have to be careful that he doesn't sneak and eat one. So that's when the leave it command comes in. That's when you need to really learn to train him to drop things out of his mouth with leave it, if you catch him. Sometimes he gobbles stuff down, and this time he got a paper towel and you know, I'm not going to show you too gory of a detail, but you got to be ready for that kind of thing, and you have to understand that's sometimes what it takes to preserve his health. You got to do it. I don't usually do it, she does it. But you know, somebody's got to do it. So there are other things uh, that you have to do that you might not necessarily want to do. Um, <laughs> get up here where they see you. Sometimes uh, your travel plans have to change. Uh, sometimes you have to change your entire way of life uh, to make sure that he's taken care of. Uh, like uh, what hotels he can stay at. Uh, a lot of times we, we oceanfront hotels are very hard to get uh, if you have a big dog. But, you know, we want to take him. We want him to go. So we take him. We also have to be careful that he doesn't scare people. I don't like it when he scares children. Uh, sometimes he wants to bark because he sees something new or his bark might be an exciting, hey, you're here, I, I really want to see you, but it's taken as an angry scary bark so you know we put him in his kennel we have to deal with things like that he wants to pee on things when he gets out some people don't like their tires peed on uh, or the corners of their buildings or you know the grass things like that so you have to be really mindful and really careful and there's some not so great things that come along with it the expense of medical bills and things like that if you don't do it properly um, you always have to make sure you take water for him I have to take a special dish for him to be able to drink out of or have something ready for him. Um, there's a lot of things that go along with, with pet ownership in general and just having a big dog that are not exactly glamorous. And this was just one of them and I, I thought I would share that with you guys. <laughs> but so you know, he is completely worth it. He is worth every inconvenience and, and everything that goes along with him because he brings so much more to the table. Uh, than some minor inconveniences and a few gross things. He's worth every bit of it. <laughs>